It's common for governments to impose additional taxes above a sales tax or a VAT on alcohol. Now the justification for this is that there are costs associated with drinking that aren't fully taken into account by the drinker themselves. These include dealing with the costs of drink driving and also of treating alcohol-related diseases, for example, on the NHS. Ideally in this situation, what we want to do is raise the price faced by each person by an amount equal to the additional cost they're imposing on society. Our research studies how to design effective alcohol taxes when these additional costs of alcohol consumption vary across people. Costs on society imposed by a heavy drinker consuming his tenth pint are much greater than, say, a light drinker consuming his first pint. Now in this situation, what we want to do is increase the price faced by the heavier drinker by much more than the price faced by the light drinker. But when everyone faces the same tax rates, this is difficult to do. We investigate how the government can vary tax rates on different drinks so that heavier drinkers pay higher prices while lighter drinkers are less affected. And by doing this, the government can discourage the most socially costly forms of alcohol consumption, so for example, binge drinking. We use detailed data on the alcohol purchases of a representative panel of British households. And we use this to study how different types of household prefer different types of drinks, and also how they respond to price changes. We find that heavier drinkers prefer a different mix of drinks to lighter drinkers, so in particular they prefer stronger alcohol products such as whiskey and gin. And we also find that they're more willing to switch between different types of drinks in response to price changes. And this makes it more challenging for the government to reduce their socially costly drinking. Our main takeaway from this research is that the government can make alcohol taxes more effective in two ways. First, by increasing the taxes on high-strength spirits, such as those on gin, vodka and whiskey, but also by bringing the taxes on cider in line with those on beer, in order to avoid people from switching from beer to the more lightly taxed cider.